Hollywood icon George Takei grabbed our attention when he starred as Lieutenant Sulu on the original Star Trek. But his story started years before then. He and his family were among the 120,000 Japanese Americans rounded up, placed in internment camps during World War II. He is now one of the leading voices speaking out about human rights, and we are... Yeah, in so many ways. We are honored to have George Takei to talk to us about the rise of violence against the Asian American Pacific Islander community. George, thank you for being with us. Um, I'm sure you saw today the president speaking out, the governor of California speaking out. What does that do to raise awareness? It is heartening to see the issue of uh, uh, hate against Asian Americans uh, being articulated by the leaders of the country. President Biden is the very personification of leadership. The, the has-been previous president is the very personification of a failure of leadership. You know, some people are, so-called leaders, are essentially led by the, uh, the masses, and uh, that has-been president is uh, an example of that. But... President Biden and Vice President uh, uh, Harris are exemplifying what le real leadership uh, is all about. That strong statement that he uh, made uh, a few nights ago saying that hate against Asian Americans is absolutely intolerable and has, is, has got to stop. Let's talk for a moment about you and your personal history um, as somebody who has such a personal experience with internment. Uh, there are some people that are watching this right now that may not know that much about that experience and teaching that experience has been one of the causes of your life. What's the most important thing you want people to know about that time in American history and what we can do to prevent something like that from happening again? Well, currently I have a book out titled they called us enemy. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, uh, with no basis in fact, all Japanese Americans on the West Coast were categorized as enemy aliens. We were neither. My siblings and I were born right here in Los Angeles. My mother was born in Sacramento, California. My father was born in Japan, was, but was brought to San Francisco when he was a boy, and he was reared, educated, went to college uh, in San Francisco. We are a Japanese-American family. But after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the United States government saw us as the same as the, the uh, people that bombed Pearl Harbor, and we looked exactly like them. And we, we were approached with suspicion and fear and outright hatred simply because we look like the, the people that bombed Pearl Harbor. And so with the categoriz uh, categorization of us as enemy alien, soldiers came to our home, banged on the front door with their fists, and forcibly ordered us out of our home. We, there were 10, we call them concentration camps, because they were precisely uh, what concentration camps were barbed wire fences, sentry towers, machine guns pointed at us. And they had no evidence of a so-called uh, crime that we committed of looking like this. Mm. They had no evidence. Without, uh, they had, there were no charges. And in this ju uh, justice system, we have a right to know why we are being arrested. No charges. We, as uh, citizens, we have the right to challenge whatever charges in a court of law, right. and then if we are found uh, to have uh, the, uh, there are evidence that we uh, did commit those uh, charges, then we are in prison. George, in our case, no evidence. George, I, wa I wanted to ask you this. We have a rich diversity here in Los Angeles. I'm thinking of the Korean community and the, the, the Chinese community, the Vietnamese community. What can we all do to do our part to, to help play a role in stopping this anti-Asian hate? Mm. We are galvanized as Asian Americans because we are seen as all the same. We are all d uh, diverse. Uh, we come from many different uh, cultural heritages, many generations, uh, many uh, 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 degrees of Americanization. And yet we are seen as Asian Americans. And so we 
politically must uh, function as Asian Americans. And in, in a combined voice, as a chorus, we are dealing with this issue, uh, particularly in Atlanta, when the, the uh, Northern uh, 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 Atlanta sheriff said this is uh, a crime of sexual addiction it is, again, the same old mentality of compartmentalizing it so that the Asian-American aspect of the uh, crime is ignored. It is a sexual, racial crime. Right. Asian women, uh, in many uh, uh, American men's eyes, is the personification of sex. And yes, he was sexually addicted, to Asian women, and that's why he believed that he uh, uh, be behaved as he was. Right. But the law yeah. enforcement is easier when it's just a simple uh, sexual crime. It gets more complicated as a Asian American hate crime. Right. So they've got to recognize the truth of that case. George, two other quick things that I want to get you to weigh in on. One. You know our colleague Hal Eisner was injured earlier tonight in Hollywood. I know. No, I did not. Oh, you did what not. What happened to him? Oh, okay. I thought you had seen that. He was. He unfortunately was hit by a car that came up onto a sidewalk um, in Hollywood, and he's he's in the hospital tonight. I'm sorry to share that news with you. I thought that you had seen oh. that in our previous segment. I just was wondering if you could share some of your your well wishes with Hal, who's watching this tonight from the hospital. I most certainly do. I saw that uh, the, the latter part of the reportage, but I didn't know Hal was involved in it. Mm. Uh, yes, please extend to him uh, my uh, best wishes for his very quick uh, recovery. How serious is his injury? Uh, I, I think we're, we're trying to figure that out. Um, but uh, it's non-life-threatening. And he may be watching right now. Yeah, and... and uh, oh, good. And one more well, thing. Hell, we love you. Yeah, and this has been such a tough day and such a tough week for a lot of people. I would love if you could put a smile on our face. Is there any way we could get you to give us an oh my as we end this segment? <laughs> well, oh my, hell, of all people, alive and vital and always uh, oh, friendly, we want you back quickly. And uh, I'll give you the uh, what we call uh. the Vulcan greeting on Star Trek. But... I'm in, con uh, in uh, 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 quarantine, so I've added another touch to it. Live long and prosper and stand back. Stand back. Uh, George, stand back. <laughs> you are great. We appreciate you so much. We appreciate uh, your perspective and that you took time to be with us today. Yeah. Thank you so much for those words for Hal as well. Live long and prosper, George. Thank you.